Hello everyone. I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. In this session, I will be discussing the problems on uh, normal distribution and how to find the uh, function of uh, z that is called uh, phi of z without distribution table. So those who are not uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel immediately. So as we know that uh, the normal distribution is will be of a bell shaped curve. I have taken the bell shaped curve here. So it is uh, symmetric about the line uh, z equal to 0. So it is symmetric about the line z equal to 0. So and the area of this curve, the area of this curve will be always equal to 1. The area of this curve is what? Equal to 1. So I can say that the value from z equal to 0, this will up to infinity to here yeah, the range of this uh, limit is minus infinity to plus infinity. When I consider the uh, range from z equal to 0 to z equal to 0 to plus infinity, which will be equal to always 0.5, which will be equal to 0.5. And here also I can consider from the limit minus infinity to uh, 0 will be always equal to 0.5. Since when it is symmetric about the line z equal to 0, this range uh, from z equal to the probability of the probability of 0 to infinity will be always equal to 0.5. Similarly, the probability of minus infinity to 0 will be always equal to 0.5. Having this in your mind, we can solve the problem easily. So, we can find any uh, value of z. So, moving on to using this uh, uh, formula, basic formula, moving on to the condition 1. So, we can find out uh, the problem 1 I have considered as this value z equal to 0. I am going to consider this line as z1. So, I need to find out the probability, probability of the range 0 to z lying between 0 to z1, 0 to z1. How to find out this value? First, theoretically, I am giving the approach. Then, I am going to give the shortcut how to solve this problem without using a distribution table. So, we can directly find out uh, this, this is the, um, the probability of uh, z, uh, z lying between 0 to z1 is given by the formula phi of z1. Now, I need to find out phi of z1 by using a distribution table. For a time being, I will take the z1 value. I will take the z1 value as 1.1.56. Uh, 1.56. Means, it means I need to find out probability of z lying between 0 to 1.56. That is phi of phi of 1.56. How to find out this without any distribution that is normal distribution table by using a calculator. So, how to make use of calculator I am going to discuss now. It is very simple. First, clear all the memory. Shift 9, clear all, clear all, reset. So, the now the calculator has been reset. Now, first start with setup. Then you have stat here, press 3, press 3, then press AC button, then go with shift 1. Since we have stat and distribution, stat or distribution, so make use of this uh, key. So now in that, we have a values 1 to 6. Out of that, the fifth one will be a distribution. So consider that 5, press 5. There we have so many varieties of distribution for the first type, whatever I have considered. So we can fetch the answer by using the second one called Q of. If I give Q of 1.56, 1.56, I am going to get the normal distribution value as what? I got the answer as 0.44. 0, 6, 2. So, this is the answer we got for the value phi of 1.56. You can verify by using the table also. 
you will get that answer so to find the area between 0 to z1 to find the area between 0 to z1 we can make use of a calculator by using q of z1 whatever the value z it may depend any value you can find out any value of z1 similarly i will go with the uh, next kind next type that is uh, negative first i will solve this type and i will come to rest of the part now we have negative shade here so as the uh, range is minus infinity to plus infinity now i will take uh, minus 1.56 similarly minus 1.56 as z is equal to 0 here so i need to find out what probability lying between minus 1.56 to what 0 that is i need to find out phi of minus 1.56 to show the similarity i took the same value now you can make use of calculator again see i will take out calculator so how to solve this uh, go for the same setup setup stat ac then shift 1 in that distribution phi as the range is between 0 and uh, the value z we have so i will make use of 2 that is q of minus 1.56 so now as you know the value of q of 1.56 is what 0 0.44062 we got the same answer so we can say that it is symmetric about the line z equal to 0 if you get the negative uh, value also you will get the same value that's why in the distribution table they have been provided only positive values so directly i can write down now this value as what this is the way of finding the shortcut for uh, the probability normal pro distribution of probability of minus 1.56 uh, to 0 now moving to rest of the problem so next uh, second i uh, secondly i have taken uh, another value here so i can consider uh, this value as uh, z1 here z1 means here uh, z equal to 0 along z equal to 0 which means i need to find out the probability of z greater than or equal to z1 probability of z greater than or equal to z1 first theoretical approach i will give so as you know the area of this portion area of this portion is what 0.5 i have explained earlier the area of this portion is 0.5 and the area of this is given by as i told you here phi of z1 phi of z1 phi of z1 right so if you shift this to that side it will become a positive value so directly i can write this as what 0.5 plus phi of z1 phi of z1 so this is the uh, direct formula for probability of z greater than or equal to at least if they ask the problem at least you can make use of this z greater than or equal to z1 is given by uh, 0.5 plus phi of z1 so now for a time being i will go with uh, the value 1.86 as z1 so therefore i need to find out probability of z greater than or equal to 1.86 so for this which is nothing but 0.5 plus phi of 1.86 so as you know the value of uh, 0.5 you can note down now i need to find out phi of 1.86 i'll just replace this by what by 1.86 I'll change this value by 1.86. So I got the answer as what? 0 0.46856. 0 0.46856. So therefore, adding this, adding this with the 0 0.5, I got the answer as what? So that is the answer we got. Now, one more thing, one more shortcut I can give for this problem. That is sorry before that uh, before going for calculation part make this one correction this is negative minus 1.86 i need to find out z greater than or equal to minus 1.86 so you can have any problem like this yeah to find out uh, uh, using a calculator we can go with the shift 
1. So, in that uh, distribution 5, consider R. Consider R. When you get probability of Z greater than or equal to Z1, consider what distribution? R, distribution, R here. So, for that uh, 3, press 3. Then what is the value Z1 here? Minus 1.86. Type that minus 1.86. Minus 1.86. So, press equal to. You are going to get the answer as what? You can see here. Verify. This is the direct method. If you want to find out probability of Z greater than or equal to minus 1.86, you will get the direct way of solving. But theoretically, you need to write down at least this much. At least this much. Then directly you can give the answer. So, in case I can also consider the problem of the form, I can find out the area of Z uh, greater than 1.86. Greater than 1.86 I need to find out. So, you can, you can make use of the formula R here as it is Z greater than. So, R of that is 3 R of 1.86. 1.86. So, you are going to get the answer as what? You are going to get the answer as 0 0.031443. Now, let us see. I need to find out between the value Z1 and Z2. I have considered two values here. For a time being, I will consider this value as uh, uh, 1.27 and uh, Z2 is equal to 3.32. So, now how to solve this problem is you know the range is what? From the area I need to find out out of this area, this portion, this portion, this area is what? 0.5, you know. This area is 0.5. So, out of 0.5, I need only this portion for that reason. So, I will start from z equal to 0 to the line z equal to 2. From probability of z lying between 0 to z1, that is z1 is 3.32 minus probability of z this range this range so that is 0 to 0 to z 1 that is 1.27 so if i just solve this called phi of this how to represent phi of 3.32 minus phi of 1.27 so now make use of calculator and write down the solution so, directly to find uh, the area between uh, 0 to Z1, we will make use of what distribution? There Q. So, take Q there. Q of 3.3.32. So, you got the answer as 0.4995 minus, minus. Similarly, again, I need to change this to what? So, I need to take 1.27 press equal to, I got the answer as 0.39796. So, simplifying this, we will get the answer as what? 0.10159 is the answer. So, moving on to next type. So, here I need to find out uh, the between the value uh, symmetric, I am taking the similar value minus 1.96 to 1.96. So, plus or minus modulus of Z1 I am taking. So, how to solve this problem? It is similar here. We will, I will write down from this area to the line, symmetric about the line, Z equal to 0. Similarly, from this line to Z2. So, therefore, I can consider minus 1.96 less than Z less than 0 plus as I need to find the area, so it will be probability from 0 to Z 1.96. So, as I told you, we can construct this too. As it is symmetric, we can directly find out phi of minus 1.96 plus phi of 1.96 or else we can convert this to positive. So, that will be nothing but, that is nothing but P of 0 as it is symmetric, P of 0 less than Z less than 1.96, 2 times of, 2 times of probability of 0 less than Z less than 1.96. So, directly I can write down this as what? 2 times of 
phi of 1.96. Now let us see what is the phi of 1.96. So shift 1 in that phi, I need to take what? Q that is 2. So in that 1.96, 1 1.96, this is what uh, the value for Q of 1.96. So multiply by 2, multiply by 2 for that answer. So I got 0 0.95. So that will be the answer. 0 0.95 will be the uh, answer for the area of mod modulus of uh, modulus of 1.96. So similarly, we can have one more uh, shortcut uh, formula to find out the area. I'll consider Z1 here. Z1. I need to find out uh, this uh, less than or equal to means this portion this area how to find out so as you know that we will construct uh, uh, consider the standard uh, formula that is this area is given by the value 0.5 so 0.5 plus this is this phi of z1 value phi of z1 value so so to find out this value i can make use of uh, the pro uh, in uh, calculator p of z1 that's all Instead of uh, there, we have uh, uh, P, Q, R, right? I can make use of uh, P of Z1. For example, if you consider um, the value 1.81 uh, here. So, if I directly, if I want to find out uh, this value, 5.5 5 plus 5 of uh, uh, 1 point, 1 1.81. So, what we are going to get, you can note down here. So, 0 0.5 plus by using Q. By using Q, since directly I need to find out phi of uh, 1.81. What we have? 1.81, 1.81. So if I use, I got 0.46485. So if I add this, I will be getting 0.96485, right? So if I go with another distribution, this shortcut, if I used instead of q if i use directly p here that is 1 p of 1.181 p of 1.181 so i got directly the answer as what by uh, 0.96485 so this is the way of using the shortcut so this will be the way of uh, solving easily so i think uh, now you can easily solve the problems without having uh, any confusion or any doubts you can ask me if you have any doubts in the in regard of uh, uh, solving the um, uh, problems of normal uh, probability distribution just by considering simple problem i have not gone with the standard problems how to find out the uh, uh, values or areas of phi of z i have explained if you like this uh, video kindly do subscribe to my youtube channel and also share this video with your Friends, thank you all for watching this video.